What a crazy week of changes, am I right? What a patch. I mean, it was one after another. Mage spell damage is increased substantially. You're a wizard, Harry. You can gain experience for your tomes of any damage type rather than a specific required one. Summoner's Tome no longer works without 80 Spirit Speak, turning necro pets without it into that limp noodle. Forming parties with your friends to venture deep into dungeons is actually a viable way of gaining experience for whatever you're working on rather than just a good time. So what about some of our old templates? Are they worthless now? Are they better now? Some are, some aren't. Today, let's look at a couple of them and discuss. So sit back, grab yourself a beer, let's talk about it. First off, the Mage Tamer. Honestly, this guy got a really large increase with no changes whatsoever. He now has stronger spells as well as stronger pets, with a full rework on the horizon of the Taming Bestiary. Bestiary, 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 bestiary. <laughs> Is it my favorite now? Well, no. This template still relies heavily on keeping your pets alive, thus making you burn through healing reagents, praying for a command proc so you can use your now extremely beefy spells. Don't get me wrong. Command book and spell aspect chance links will help tremendously with this. And this template is however, very, very powerful. However, I think personally, I've been spoiled with the ease of using Wither and summoning a pet with full life in two and a half seconds using Spirit Pact and the Summoner's Tome that a summoner brings. So my verdict on this after the patch got better. And speaking of summoners, in order to use the Summoner's Tome, players are required 80 Spirit Speak. And even then, they only get 16 points rather than the, I believe, 24 that the 120 Necro gave us last week. So let's look at the recently posted Spell Damage Mage. At first glance, you'll notice there is no Spirit Speak. So if we decide to summon pets, they're gonna be super, super weak. However, if you are regularly farming in a group or are good at kiting monsters, this template can and is still very useful. With the proper points and the Wizard Grimoire focusing on all the time spells as well as either Flame Strike or Mind Blast, you can really wreak havoc on a monster fast. I don't want to paint a beautiful picture here, but to do this effectively, you're going to need both personal playable skill and the proper aspect level. And a couple good links aren't going to hurt either. Point is on this one, if you're flying solo, just be patient and know you won't be killing demons until your link is pretty decent. My verdict on this one, it's a wash, but it's definitely a nerf if you are a newer player or you don't have friends to play with. To continue on with summoners, I get asked very frequently about the Bard Noxcrow template. Now, you have heard me many times say how this was my favorite template. Originally, my plan when the Grimoire changes went into effect was to drop Disco and Music to 90, and then boost Meditation from 20 to 80. This would give us a little bit more wiggle room on those early circle spells in the Grimoire, effectively probably boosting our damage. But now with the Summoner's Tome changes, we need 80 Spirit Speak or our pets will be extremely weak. After testing, you can still hold your own, even with your mummies having a whopping roughly about 600 hit points. Just don't expect once again to be farming like you used to. So this template definitely got a big nerf. Now last but not least, the Necro Bard Archer. It was time for me to move on with this template anyways. You know how we do here, we switch up templates regularly. I think it gives me a sense of understanding on some changes in the game rather than just thinking one track on one type of template. Nonetheless, this template took a super small hit originally with the Grimoire changes. It wasn't really that much that we used the Grimoire. We might take about three mushrooms with us and very rarely need to use them. But with the changes on the Summoner's Tome are already weaker than normal pets to do significantly less damage. This template favored in the melee side of damage, but the pet damage was no small part, giving this template a hard pass and move along to the next one. So you might be asking, what now? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, if you take music and disco and throw it into just about any template, you're gonna be on top most of the time. However, with that said, there are plenty of templates out there in Outlands, and that's really the beauty of it, is that unlike a lot of other servers that I've played on in the past, this server is not just a 
level up a tamer, say all kill, and just keep them healed, and there you go. That's your PVM guy. There's so many different templates, and while one may be better for one specific scenario, it may not be better for the next. And another really cool thing is that the current flavor of the month, whatever template, is not ever really the flavor of the month template for very long. Think about how many times everybody has switched their templates because, oh, this is the new meta. So with that, guys, let me know in the comments below what template it is that you're playing right now as I would really like to pick your brain on your template. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you for liking this video as it not only helps me and my discoverability, but also Outlands. Guys, I'll see you around on the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Other than that, guys, Home Star Gaming out.